They were hunters, wanderers of a frozen land. For thousands of years they left no written records, only scattered bones, shattered tools, and whispers lost in the wind. Beneath the endless white silence of Siberia, something ancient waited to be uncovered. Something that defied everything we thought we knew about human migration. Then, a frozen jawbone, a piece of charred wood, and a fragment of DNA sealed in permafrost for over 10,000 years. A genetic time capsule, untouched since the Ice Age. When scientists sequenced the DNA, they didn't just unlock the identity of a single tribe. They opened a doorway to a lost chapter of humanity, a link between two continents and two worlds, because what they found wasn't supposed to be there. The genetic code of ancient Siberians revealed a bloodline that stretches across oceans, connecting modern Native Americans to a forgotten people that once roamed the Arctic tundra. But how did they survive the brutal cold? Why did their lineage vanish, almost completely? And what secrets still lie buried beneath the snow? This is not just a story about ancient bones. It's a tale of survival, migration, and a silent revolution written in our very DNA. The true origin of ancient Siberians has finally been revealed. But what did scientists really find in the frozen north? And how does it rewrite the story of human evolution? Long before the rise of civilizations, before the pyramids, before Stonehenge, there existed a people who called the frozen expanse of Siberia their home. Nearly 30,000 years ago, during the Upper Paleolithic era, the Siberian Arctic was not the lifeless desert of ice we know today, but a vast steppe of mammoths, wolves, and nomadic tribes braving the edge of extinction. These early humans weren't just survivors. They were pioneers, pushing the boundaries of where life could exist on Earth. In this harsh, unforgiving land, temperatures routinely dropped below 50 degrees C. Food was scarce. Shelter was primitive. Yet these ancient Siberians adapted, crafting tools from bone and stone, hunting megafauna, and leaving faint traces of their existence buried deep beneath permafrost. For decades, archaeologists puzzled over their origins. Who were these people? Where did they come from? And perhaps more importantly, where did they go? The mystery deepened with each discovery. Scattered remains found along the Yana River, ancient campsites near Lake Baikal, and crude ornaments carved with symbols no one could decode. Despite the cold, time was relentless. Layers of snow and ice entombed their secrets. Every dig raised more questions than answers. Until recently, the story of these Siberians was incomplete, fragmented, speculative, and shrouded in frostbitten silence. But then, the rise of ancient DNA analysis transformed everything. Suddenly, bones were not just bones. They were biological time machines, each carrying genetic blueprints of long-lost peoples. And in the coldest corners of Russia, a breakthrough emerged that would send shockwaves through the world of science. Because within the genomes of these forgotten hunter-gatherers lay the key to understanding not just Siberia, but the very peopling of the Americas. The mystery was no longer local, it was global. It all began with a single tooth, small, fossilized, and buried in the icy soil near the Yana River in northeastern Siberia. The site, known as Yana RHS, had long intrigued archaeologists. Located just 500 miles from the Arctic Ocean, it seemed impossible that humans could have survived there 30,000 years ago. But in 2001, Russian scientists uncovered the unthinkable, the remnants of an ancient human settlement, frozen in time. Among the finds were spear tips, bone tools, ivory ornaments, and two tiny milk teeth. 
belonging to children who lived and died in the deep chill of the Ice Age. For years, these teeth sat in storage, catalogued but untouched, until a team of international geneticists revisited them in search of extractable DNA. What they found would upend everything. Despite their age, the teeth were remarkably preserved by the permafrost, sealed like time capsules in the frozen ground. The DNA was intact. Primitive, yes, but readable. With painstaking precision, researchers began sequencing the genome, expecting to find links to known Eurasian or East Asian populations. But the results were baffling. The genome did not match any existing profile. Instead, it pointed to a previously unknown group, an ancient population that had vanished without leaving any direct descendants in modern Eurasia. The scientists named them the Ancient North Siberians. But the surprises didn't stop there. The genetic code showed traces of interbreeding, not only with neighboring tribes, but with long-extinct hominins like the Denisovans. Even more astonishing, small fragments of their DNA showed up in the genomes of modern Native Americans. This wasn't a random coincidence. It was evidence of a deep ancestral connection, a shared lineage that crossed continents. The implications were massive. These ancient Siberians weren't just isolated hunter-gatherers. They were part of a much larger story, one that reached across the Bering Strait and into the heart of the Americas. Something extraordinary had been uncovered. A people lost to time, speaking through their bones. A discovery that whispered of a forgotten migration and of bloodlines that stretch farther than anyone had dared imagine. The discovery of the ancient North Siberians was only the beginning. Once the genetic code was sequenced, a massive international effort unfolded to understand who these people really were. Scientists from Russia, Denmark, and the United States joined forces, combining archaeology, climatology, and genomics in a multidisciplinary investigation. Their mission, to piece together a forgotten chapter of human evolution, buried beneath layers of frost and time. But the task was monumental. Extracting viable DNA from Ice Age remains is a race against decay. Every molecule fragile, every error potentially catastrophic. The team worked inside sterile labs, using advanced techniques like next-generation sequencing and targeted enrichment, scanning billions of base pairs for patterns, anomalies, and echoes of ancient ancestry. The DNA had to be compared against thousands of modern and ancient genomes, from Inuit populations in Alaska to indigenous groups in South America. The challenge wasn't just in finding matches. It was in tracing the pathways of migration across tens of thousands of years. And all the while, the clock was ticking. As global temperatures rose, permafrost began to thaw, threatening to destroy unexcavated sites and erase genetic material before it could ever be studied. The researchers raced to access more remains from other locations, mammoth bones, human skull fragments, and charred hearths hidden in the Siberian wilderness. Each new sample added depth to the puzzle, but also new complications. Linguistic data offered few clues. These people left no written language, no preserved myths. Their story had to be reconstructed from the ground up, gene by gene, artifact by artifact. And the further back in time the team looked, the blurrier the human family tree became. Ghost populations, extinct hominins, and overlapping migrations painted a picture more complex than anyone had anticipated. But amidst the noise, a clear signal began to emerge. A genetic fingerprint shared between the ancient North Siberians and the ancestors of Native Americans. This connection wasn't weak or circumstantial. It was strong, direct, and statistically undeniable. Still, the ultimate question remained, how did these two worlds connect? The breakthrough came not from a single gene, but from thousands. As the team decoded the genomes of the ancient North Siberians, they identified specific genetic markers, 
rare sequences that act like ancestral signatures. These markers were then cross-referenced with a global genomic database, and what emerged was staggering. The same unique markers were present in the DNA of every indigenous population in the Americas. From the Inuit of the Arctic Circle to the Mapuche of southern Chile, a common thread ran through them all, one that led directly back to Siberia. But this wasn't just a vague similarity. Using advanced statistical modeling, scientists determined that roughly 40% of the genome of early Native Americans could be traced to this ancient Siberian group. To confirm the timeline, they applied molecular clock dating, analyzing the rate of mutation over generations to estimate when populations split. The data pointed to a migration event between 24,000 and 20,000 years ago, during the last glacial maximum. Sea levels were much lower, and a land bridge known as Beringia connected Siberia to Alaska. It was across this frozen corridor that small bands of Siberian hunter-gatherers journeyed into an untouched world, but they didn't come alone. With them traveled mammoths, wolves, and the DNA of an entire civilization waiting to be born. Even more revealing was the presence of Denisovan DNA in the Siberian samples, a type of archaic human known mostly from remains found in a cave in southern Siberia. The Denisovans, once thought to be limited in range, had clearly interbred with the ancestors of Native Americans. This added a new layer of complexity. The peopling of the Americas was not just a tale of migration. It was a story of hybridization, adaptation, and survival on a scale never before imagined. These weren't just wanderers, they were carriers of a deep evolutionary legacy shaped by multiple hominin lineages over tens of thousands of years. With each test, the evidence mounted. The trail was no longer speculative. It was genetic fact. The ancient North Siberians were not a footnote in human history. They were the beginning of a transcontinental saga. Imagine a world locked in ice. Vast glaciers stretch across continents, swallowing mountains, shaping valleys, and lowering sea levels by hundreds of feet. This is the Earth as it was nearly 23,000 years ago, silent, brutal, and unforgiving. In the far northeast of Siberia, a small group of humans gathered at the edge of the known world. These were the ancient North Siberians, descendants of Eurasian hunter-gatherers, hardened by millennia of survival in sub-zero wilderness. Clad in hides and furs, they followed herds of mammoths and reindeer, guided by instinct, memory, and the stars. Then, something changed. Driven by cold, scarcity, or perhaps sheer curiosity, they began to move, not south, but east, toward a narrow strip of land that connected two continents, a place known today as Beringia. Beringia wasn't just a bridge. It was a vast ecosystem, over 1,000 kilometers wide, rich with life. For centuries, perhaps millennia, these people lived there in isolation. The glaciers blocked the way forward, and the world behind them grew colder. But then, around 16,000 years ago, the ice began to recede. A corridor opened between the retreating glaciers of present-day Canada. And through this passage, they moved into a new world that had never known human footsteps, into the Americas. What followed was one of the greatest migrations in human history. From Alaska, they spread rapidly southward, reaching the interior of North America within a few thousand years. Along the way, they adapted, diversified, and gave rise to hundreds of distinct cultures and languages. These were the ancestors of the first Americans, peoples who would build great cities, craft mythologies, and leave enduring legacies across two continents. But it all began with a crossing, silent and perilous, across a land that no longer exists. Their legacy is not written in stone monuments or ancient scrolls, but in blood, 
in the DNA of millions alive today. Scientists can now trace the journey not just through artifacts, but through the very fabric of who we are. Every gene tells a story of hardship, resilience, and discovery. And as the map of this migration is drawn more clearly, the frozen silence of Siberia gives way to a voice echoing across time. The ancient winds of Siberia still blow across frozen plains where the sun barely rises in winter. But now, we know those winds once carried the footsteps of a people who shaped the fate of continents. The ancient North Siberians, once thought lost to time, have found their voice in the language of genes. They are not myth. They are not mystery. They are ancestors, pioneers, survivors of a world on the edge of extinction. Their journey carved the path of human history, not in scrolls or stones, but in bloodlines that stretch from Arctic Russia to the Amazon rainforest. This discovery changes everything. It rewrites our understanding of where we came from, how we moved, and who we truly are. It reminds us that our origins are never simple, that behind every culture lies another and another, stacked like geological layers waiting to be unearthed. And perhaps most haunting of all, it shows us that even in silence, the dead still speak. Every bone, every strand of DNA is a story waiting to be told. As science advances, more of these forgotten voices will rise from the ice, from the soil, from beneath the ocean floor. What other truths lie hidden beneath centuries of snow and sediment? What other civilizations vanished without a trace, leaving only genetic echoes behind? The past is not dead. It lives within us, in our cells, in our breath, in our bones. So if this journey through time fascinated you, don't stop here. Hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and join us as we uncover more buried secrets from humanity's deep past. Because the greatest mysteries aren't in the future. They're behind us, waiting to be rediscovered. This was the story of the true origin of ancient Siberians, revealed not by myth or legend, but by the code written in their DNA. And who knows, the next truth we uncover might just rewrite your own history.